Hello, in this video I will show you how to predict the last layer permutation from the overall step. For example, by looking here, I can predict that there will be a bar on the left. Like this. This technique can get you faster with Ortega method as you orient the last layer and permute both layers in one look kind of like the EG method. For each overall case, there are six outcomes. First, you can get a skip where you don't need to permute the pieces. Then you can get a diagonal case. You can get a bar on the left. You can get a bar on the right. You can get a bar in front. And you can get a bar in the back. Before going into each case for each orientation algorithm, I will show my all, all algorithms so, so that I don't need to do it later. For the H case, I use R2, U2, R, U2 prime, R2 prime. For the pi case, I use F, R, U, R prime U prime R U R prime U prime F prime. For the soon, I hold it like this and do R U R prime U R U two R prime. For the anti soon, I hold it like this and do R U two R prime U prime. R U prime R prime. For the L case or the diagonals case, I hold it like this and do F R U prime R prime U prime R U R prime F prime. For the T case, I hold it like this and do R U R prime U prime R prime F R F prime. For the U case, I hold it like this and do F R U R prime U prime F prime. If you use different algorithms, then chances are that the permutation outcomes are different. If so, then you need to see which case gives which permutation. First, we'll see the H cases because they are the easiest. If you get two 2x1 two blocks vertically, then you will get a skip. If you have two horizontal bars, then you will have a diagonal case. If you have a bar in front and opposite colors in the back, then you will have a bar on the left. If you have a block in the back and opposite colors in front, then you will have a bar on the right. If you have a bar on the left and opposite colors on the right, then you'll have the bar on the front. And if you have a block on the right and opposite colors on the left, you will have a bar on the back. One trick to memorize this is that if you have a block in the front, you will end up with a bar on the left. And if you have a block in the left, you will end up with a bar in the front. And same goes with the back and the right. So if you have a block on the right, you will have a bar on the back. And if you have a block on the back, you will have a bar in the right. If you have two parallel blocks, you will either have a skip or a diagonal case depending if the bars are horizontal or vertical.